Hi guys, welcome to Linux YouTube channel. My name is Ramishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video I will tell you how to configure log rotate in RHEL 8. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points which is what is log rotate and their use cases. So log rotate is designed to easy administration of systems that generate large number of log files. It allow automatic rotation, compression, removals and mailing of log files. Each log files may be handled hourly, uh, daily, weekly, monthly or when, it, or, or when it grows too large. By default, log rotate is invoked once a day using a cron schedule from a particular location which is etc cron dot daily directory. I'll show you ls etc cron dot daily. See. So, Let's start the lab session and try to understand how does it actually have very very useful and helpful for the Linux administration person. So for the demonstration purpose here I have uh, one RHEL 8 virtual machine. Okay, so guys this is my Linux terminal and first of all I will show you the OS release version of this VM. So I run the command cat etc red hat release. So guys you can see currently I am using RHEL 8. So but before start the before we start working on log rotate firstly we have to check and verify log rotate package is installed or not so for this i can go with rpm query command and uh, verify log r o t a t e log rotate so yep it is installed so by default it is installed but it is if uh, any reason it is not installed then we can use the yum command line tool to install the log rotate package okay so let's have a look the main configuration file for the log rotate which is etc log rotate log rotate dot configuration file so once I press enter, now you can see the, uh, the, the comment section explain most of the parameter used and there is nothing to be changed in this file. So let it be with their default value, we will go with our own settings. So I quit from there, this is the default configuration file. So the point is how to configure log rotate. So log rotates configuration is done by editing two separate configuration files. First one is a etc log rotate.conf file and the second one is uh, the standard location that is etc log rotate.d. This is the directory location. So where we can define service specified service configuration files. Okay. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to create a new log file uh, named test.log inside var log directory. So what I'm going to do, I move to var log location and here I create a file. Let's see test.log exists or not. No, it is not. So I start uh, with touch command create test.log log for the testing purpose okay now in the next i will create a new file inside etc log rotate dot d directory so i move to the etc log rotate dot d directory here i am and and here i create again a, a service specify configuration file with the help of touch command so i go with the touch command and create a file name in my case i say go with demo Okay, so this is the name of the service specify configuration file, could be anything. Now, uh, I'm going to add few entries as per our requirement for uh, the rotation of log files and once by one I explain all fields. Okay, so I start with vim editor and open my demo file. Yeah, it's blank. So first of all, I start with hash, say create log rotation rotation file uh, that runs on daily basis could be anything okay now just to give the file location where your log file exists so in my case where log test dot log okay start curly braces uh, sorry, it's a test dot log dot backslash. So remove this one test dot log. Now good. Uh, first of all, I use uh, one parameter missing. Okay. So what does it mean? Missing okay means uh, if the log file is missing, go on the next one without issuing an error messages. Okay. Now I use uh, compress C O M. P R E double S. Compress means compressed old version of log file with zzip utility, which is the default one. Now I go with rotate R O 
टी ए टी ई रोटेट टू थ्री फोर फाइव एज पर योर चॉइस दिस मीन्स कीप ओनली टू लॉक फाइल्स एंड डिलीट द थर्ड वन ओके देन आई स्टार्ट विथ नोटिफाई एन ओ टी आई नोटिफाई इम्पटी नोटिफाई इम्पटी मीन्स डू नॉट क्रिएट और वी कैन से रोटेट द लॉक फाइल इफ इट इज इम्पटी ओके नाउ गिव द साइज आई एम गोइंग टू रोटेट द लॉक फाइल ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ साइज सो आई से साइज कुड बी आई थिंक इन माई केस आई गो विथ थर्टी के सो दैट मीन्स वेरीफाई द फाइल साइज इज थर्टी के इक्वल और ग्रेटर दैन ओके then i use uh, define rotation as per the value that means it could be a uh, value could be daily weekly monthly yearly basis so here i am saying it is a daily basis then i go with create create sorry it is in the on the new line create what create create say go with the permission 600 then user owner then group owner so create then mode we have to define that is 600 then user owner the group owner so it means create a new file with the 600 permission and the user group ownership will be root user okay this could be anything as per your need next i define date date ext what does it mean add the date extension to the log file in the form of whatever format you have defined so in the next line i have to define the date format so i say date format will be in my case i start with the first uh, date then go with the month then go with the year okay now uh, we can do few more things now let's suppose you want to run a custom command when the rotation take place to do uh, that place uh, we can put up in the line in a such command between the post rotate and and script section so post rotate so i go with post rotate r o T A T E post rotate. So here I mentioned in the post rotate command tells the lock rotate that the script to run start on the next line and and the end scripts uh, I can say end script end script command says that the script is done here. Okay. So for example here I want to trigger an email to a user say in my case Ram user when lock files get rotated with the subject uh, something like lock rotate started. so how can i do that so i for this i use post rotate and end script section and between them i mention echo or you can define a command also a r o t a t i one rotation uh, just took place okay and then i use pipe symbol i run the mail command with subject subject could be anything but in my case log rotate started okay this could be subject and whom you want to trigger this one i said ram user okay now close the curly braces okay save so finally this is the how i just mentioned my log rotate file and just save and quit from there now i go to the back on my where log location file here i am and after and for the testing purpose we can add some contents to for our test for the verification so i run the command currently if i go with the ls test dot log it is blank is is nothing over there see if i run the ll command it's zero so i run the sequence command fire 1000 go to the where say test log okay now if i run the ll command or list command we can see there is uh, some space size that is approx 3893 byte okay so let execute a dry run to see what log rotate does would do if it was actually expected now so uh, we can use the hyphen d option followed by the configuration file so we can go with log rotate and hyphen t this is just like as a verbosity mode or dry testing and give the location etc log rotate log rotate dot d and the file name in my case that is demo okay so i mentioned demo and now i press enter see what happened okay sounds good so here uh, are the result you can say it is two rotation uh, after one days and log rotation exam all log files at given location and check them against the directives that in define in the configuration file so the point is how to try to forcefully rotate the log files and how we can grab the final result so for this we have two option first one is we can run the command log rotate 
hyphen f and give the configuration file whatever i have told you earlier that is log rotate uh, dot conf but remember this this command will rotate all your log files whatever logs which is defined in the etc log rotate dot d directory which i'm not going to do that and the second method is we can directly point out our own service specified configuration file so we have we can what i'm going to do i'm going to remove this one and put up my own entry which is i have mentioned log rotate and dot d demo yes so i'm going to go with this one and now i'm going to press enter let's see what happened yeah it's done so now if i again check the test.log file see what happened so i run the command test dot i say go with star see you can see that so our uh, so our last test dot log file was compressed as you can see the size changed from 3890 through approx 1848 bytes and a new test dot log file is created with 600 permission and if i'm log in with the ram user account suppose i log in with the ram user account with su command and uh, run the mail command to just check the mail see uh, you can see that here i have a uh, one new mail with the subject log rotated started so when i press enter to read the mail look at that a rotation just took place so this is the mail trigger during the log rotation process okay so i'm quit from there say exist and exist so finally guys uh, you can see that uh, this is the end of this topic and hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things and soon i will come up with another new interesting topics till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something is please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for more updates if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye